All right, welcome back to Sullivan Keep. Where he, this is the keep that I uh, captured in Priest of Leon recently from that that pesky demon. I kind of want to explore and see what's changed since I uh, took it over. Also, recover a few of these. It is. Oh man, I always forget that this game will actually try to show you uh, the potions of everyone who's not even in your party right now. It's a weird, weird move. Although not nearly as weird as the fact that it takes like seven years to load. It's like, it's just, I'm just trying to up increase the potions, it's fine. We only need to load their whole character portrait and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably because it has to call to their skills and tell you whether or not their talents give you certain abilities and stuff like that. So there's a skill, there's an exclamation point over here, and... Oh cool, it's not just a requisition officer. Good. Uh, trading with Kal Shirak. I accidentally clicked on the paper on the table, apparently, instead of him. My approach was carefully observed. This was not a tag unused to watching its boundaries. I got the impression that if I'd been one of his Orzammar cousins, our meeting would have been swift and bloody. That is, if I'd been allowed to find the passage at all. As it was, he was polite and efficient, and he knew well the current market for everything he offered. Clearly their isolation is not because of fear, and, it, and clearly not of disinterest. Among his wares, I saw the latest fabrics of Val Royale and volumes for, uh, by a free marcher poet three centuries dead. This only added to my doubt of the official year of Cal Chirac's re rediscovery, as declared by the Assembly of Orzammar. I didn't mention this to my host. As curious as I was, there was an undercurrent I found unsettling. I must stress that he and his helpers were professional and honest throughout, but there was something I couldn't describe. While he remained uh, hooded the entire time, he looked at me square in the eye when our deal was struck. Unashamed. I lived through a time of blight. I felt the gaze of a Grey Warden and seen the corruption of his prey. Why I remembered both in that moment, I still can't explain. On meeting Novus Sternhald at in Karsharak, uh, excerpted from a journal in Sir, uh, in Sir Everin, a renowned noble merchant scholar. Oh. Your worship, welcome. I am Baron Edouard Desjardins of Leeds. I am pleased to meet you. Ambassador Montillier speaks highly of you. You seem to know Josephine quite well. Oh, yes. Yves Montillier, Josephine's father, is an old friend. We used to hunt together. I watched her grow up, you know. Such a clever girl. <laughs> She could charm wolves to dance with hares. I am gratified to see the Inquisition has not overlooked her talents. What is your role here, Baron? Oh, well, the Ambassador entrusted me with handling the Inquisition's enterprise in the Dales. Much of our efforts are concentrated on rebuilding, eradicating threats, reopening trade routes and such. And of course, I will oversee the forging of relations with the nobles of Southern Orlais. Any news, Baron? Judicale's crossing has been rebuilt, thanks to our combined efforts. All right, is there an actual quest, though? Maybe not. Maybe it's just not from him. Thank you for standing on that chair, by the way. It makes me feel comfortable, as if I'm addressing my own kind. <laughs> I want. Uh, uh, for, I know it's just a glitch, but it was just kind of funny to be having a conversation with a human, and we're actually at eye level for the first time in this game. That just never happens, except for the weird Cassandra encounter at the beginning of the game, where different characters kind of glitch out and stand at the wrong positions. Like I played on Sad Games briefly. We did a uh, dwarf character just for a quick look, and uh, that dwarf character was the same height as Cassandra during co the opening conversation. For some reason, he seemed to just be floating in the air. Uh, there's an exclamation point, like right there, and no indication of how to find it. Is there a paper around here? Good day, your worship. Any news, Baron? We plan to push into the region to make it safe for trade and travel. Any news, Baron? Not currently, and as they say, no news is good news, yes. All right, that's not helpful. Oh, a chest. Nope. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. We have a we have some sort of marker here though. What's this? Oh, just just another shard. All right, we're gonna have to head out. 
we're heading over towards that Grey Warden outpost, uh, Valeska's Watch, that we took care of recently. Because there's one sort of loose hair over here. I thought the area was going to be more open, but really, most of the zone's been really linear and hallway-like. So, I want to backtrack a bit to a place that I, I went past, because I thought that it was going to be open and I just go wherever. So we're here to go take care of one of the only Fade Rifts left, aside from, you know, a handful that are way off in Dragon territory, but... Those are obviously traps for dragons. Oh, securing safe dragon. I mean, <laughs> securing safe dragon. Securing safe passage. Now the judicial's crossing is rebuilt, the road must be secured to allow free travel in and out of the area. There may be abandoned towers along the road that, if secured, may be ideal for keeping watch. I guarantee you that those two... Not only, not only are they giving me two rifts to lure me into the area, but those I guarantee you those two uh, towers are the towers the other two dragons are on, because this one certainly had one. Uh... Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> I guarantee you that's just, uh, that's, that's, because this zone's packed with uh, quests that just give you vague ideas of where to go, and they're mostly just bait to get you into danger. I, I, I this, that one, that one is absolutely just bait to make me go fight some dragons. Alright, so, wait, what level are these guys? 19? Wow, we're already, we're already taking, wow, never mind. I was about to go, uh, okay, never mind, we'll just go back into combat. <laughs> I was about to uh, try to actually do something uh, special here and like grab everyone into a, a specific location, uh, do that trap I do with Solus all the time, but uh, this whole wave was already almost dead. Despite being level 19, it's just they're all squishy. They're a shitty little, a shitty little race to go down a couple hits. Just need to hit him a few times. There we go. Someone in a, in a previous video commented saying, is it just me or do revenant, are revenants easier now than they used to be? Uh, in the first game, and I'd say absolutely. I played Dragon Age, uh... I played the first Dragon Age on normal mode, I believe? And I found a Revenant to be devastating, although I did fight them in the wrong order, sort of, but still. Uh... Whereas in this game, they're just kind of another enemy to fight. They're mostly annoying, because they're one of the enemies that are... They're one of the vaguely boss-like, uh... Demons, so they take 17 years to fight, and it's not great. Also, I've... What? I don't know why, but I'm, I'm noticing I'm, I, I tend to exaggerate and say 17 years every time, like, consistently. Alright, so that was very short. <laughs> Turns out having two dispellers that have whose cooldowns aren't up means you can pretty much stop the entire wave from happening in the first place, and then a lone despair demon isn't going to pose much of a challenge. That's really when they're dangerous, is when a despair demon's uh, in a crowd, so it gets to hide it out in the background. Alright, Josephine's ready to report in. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the war table, and we'll talk about that. So we just took up our- we took off our rift, and I'm gonna have to teleport anyway, so I might as well teleport back to Skyhold in, in the meantime, uh, to follow up on where we sent Josephine before. I think, uh, Josephine was... I actually have to remind myself what she was doing, but she has a, uh, she has a quest that's specific to her that we can send her on as soon as she's done. I'm just gonna take a moment to grab all the stuff that's just lying around here, and I'll see you there. Oh, is that a cave over there? We'll take a quick look inside. Just to see what's gonna be some Everite. Is it just resources, or is there something cool in here? No, nope, just a chunk of, uh... Red Lyrium st Just kinda sticking out. Where's this- Ooh! Is there gonna be some kinda camp over here? Is this place- is this place I've been to before? Oh, this is all new! Alright, before I go anywhere else, I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna press forward through this. Uh... Could just be a sight. You have the, right over there. You can see the other two. There, there's the, t the far right's the one I did already, and on the left you can see the two towers I haven't done yet. Both of which I guarantee have dragons in them. Just the fact that there's three towers and three dragons means they're pretty much guaranteed to be coinciding with each other. They try. They like to set up uh, places that are like arenas for you to fight the dragons. No, no, no note up here. I thought I thought for sure if I climbed the ladder I'd find a codex entry up here. So far, it's just a whole bunch of empty cliff. And a really uh, awkwardly placed herb up there. I'll go ahead and follow this path until... There's an artifact? How do you know there's an artifact, Solus? I have no evidence of an artifact right now. I don't know what he's reacting to. Oh, is it right here? Is it, oh no, that's just silver, right? He might have he might have reacted too soon. I might not be actually in range of it yet. Am I gonna get a chime? This is genuinely strange. Oh, there it is. 
It's above me. So, so it triggered a proximity. It, tr it tr Ooh, Dracon's tower. So that whole tower is something I haven't seen before, apparently. Oh no. I did it with Vivian instead of Solus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're actually about to hit level 16 influence. I, I didn't think we'd hit 15. I thought there was going to be a, a big insurmountable amount, but every now and then I do something that gives me thousands all at once, and that catches me off guard. So let's check out this tower. So this slightly proves. Oh, cool. Liliana's ready to check in. So now everyone is done with their war table missions. And we'll get progress there. Get to send everyone out again. Is there a way into the tower? Is there not a way in? Oh. Oh, it's all blocked out by red by red lyrium. I don't see I don't see a fix for that. And there's no there's no war table uh flag around here, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do an operation to fix it either. So I'm gonna I'll continue along this ridge just to see where it goes, but I think it's just gonna wrap around back to the uh bridge I was already at. Is what's looking like. So this may not be very eventful. Is there something back there? Oh, bit of Everite. Looks a lot like it looks a lot like the real mineral called Stibnite, which is a uh, they used that for a lot of eye makeup back in the day until they found out that it could basically make you go blind and other have other bad effects because grinding up rocks and putting them on your face for cosmetic reasons not always the safest move. Uh, th that's that's clearly taking me right back to the bridge, so I'm gonna go ahead and warp back to Skyhold and update our war table. So it's a it's a relatively rare occurrence, but all the things I sent people to do today were short enough that they actually finished over the course of that recording session, so I can actually update where we were from there. So ascending Michael de Chavin. I am impressed by Michael's memory. He walked the paths between Alluvians and seems to remember much of it. This will give us some insight into Briala's schemes. Briala's schemes. Are, are we still talking about the? Uh, are we still talking about the like? the political situation like it's in the future like it's it's pretty resolved at this point it's weird like i understand that I, I understand the exalted planes being packed with civil war stuff because that was when you're guaranteed you, that's when you're more guaranteed to be still uh not done with that quest yet uh even though i was but this is the last zone of the area and it had a, it had a recommended level like you were i think you're more or less expected to take care of it before you came here oh well also kind of assumes you know more about Briala than you might know. You might not know about Briala's schemes at all. Deal with Lord Basile Moran. We had one of Leliana's spies bait Lord Basile into star starting his rant at a local ball. Just as he was re uh, reaching the climax of his argument, Lady Duchette entered in full Inquisition regalia with an entourage of our soldiers and exposed her father's lies. She then challenged him to a duel for the Inquisition's honor. The Lord would not meet her blade and was shunned for the rest of the event. Well, Lady Duchette became the star of the evening, I don't think we need to worry about Lord Basile in the future. Uh, Josephine. So that's relatively straightforward resolution there. Is there anything else around here? Golden opportunity. Are any of the other things story or are they just repeatable? I think they're just repeatable resource missions, aren't they? And all the big icons have been completed already? Yep, we're, b we're back to the, the map being pretty much empty. And there's no more zones after Impriest de Leon, so this is going to be it. So we have we have Selene and Michael. Oh, re uh, reconciliation for Selene and Michael. That's interesting. So we can make things better between them again, now this, since Selene is the leader of the group right now. So if she had been dead, that, that wouldn't be happening. So there's two things I can do here. I'm going to avoid them for now. I'm going to do Golden Opportunity, because I know that it requires Josephine. And I'll probably hold off and do something else later and sprinkle them throughout the remaining episodes just because I'd like to have all the options available to me, to me that I that I can possibly have. And there's not much left to do on this war table at this point. Uh, a golden opportunity. Inquisitor. My, how things have changed. When we first arrived at Skyhold, we would have been lucky to have the elite of Halam Shiral even acknowledge our presence. Now that we've occupied Saladin Keep and can no longer be ignored, a group of merchants and noblemen have approached me on with a proposal. They say that since the Inquisition is currently better placed to keep order in the Dales than even the Imperial Throne, they would like to set up a consortium of sorts. As Inquisition ambassador, at, an, Inqu an Inquisitor ambassador at their side will, according to them, aid communication and allow us to keep their interests safe, even as they promote ours. It's worth considering, Your Worship. Josephine. Allow me to send the ambassadors, and I shall begin the arrangements for this consortium. Yep. At your service. Pretty straightforward, just more 
maintenance of the fact that we're getting bigger and more and more there's just more and more political opportunities. I'm gonna go ahead and head right back to Empress de Leon and progress with the quest that we have left have yet to do. Alright, so welcome back to the across the bridge area of uh of Empress de Leon. I figure we may as well start this uh safe passage quest and head towards our, our second to last dragon, our penultimate dragon, if you will. Right before we wrap up this entire area, really. Uh, in Priest Leon, in, in, in general, I guess, I guess if I go back, I could surprise myself and it could turn out to be longer than I think it is, but it's, this zone seems shorter than I was expecting, because I, I thought it might be the longest zone in the game, especially if it had three dragons. So we may, we may be starting uh, the next story mission sooner than I expected. But there's going to be at least one more episode, because I'm going to pace things out so that the, the, we do a few more quests and then the last dragon. And that'll probably be it, unless there's like some sort of chain I'm not expecting. Mark location. Ta-da! Any sort of- wow, 5,000 experience is a lot, but no- No specific, uh... Oop! No specific spike of, uh... I mean, sorry, no- no codex entry for the location, so it's not that kind- not that kind of mark location. Still, though. Lots of- a lot of, uh... I'm, I'm really getting caught off guard by how much, uh, experience we're getting for the Inquisition right now, because it's constantly about to level me up. Which I was not expecting to do for a while here. I'm going to go ahead and avoid doing... I'll do that thing that, that makes him try to focus on me and take more damage over time. And I'll be able to shield bash to get that armor off. There we go. Uh, I'm going to avoid using any focus abilities because we're getting ready for another dragon fight in a moment. Hopefully these, these trash mobs we fight along the way will sort of help us charge up our meters for that purpose. Oh god, I'm calling them trash mobs now like it's an MMO. This is dangerous. This is a slippery slope. Solus managed to hurt himself. It's too bad he won't just stay out of fights, because I know that the party is bad about just walking directly into melee range. No potions down yet. I'll tell Solus to use a regeneration potion so he doesn't waste one. Uh, how are we doing on, on focus abilities? Vasti has his, Vivian has hers, Solus has two ranks, and Sarah has a, he's about she's about to get a second one of hers. So yeah, we'll be going we'll be going to this next dragon fight more prepared than we were in the previous one. Go ahead and select the next rift location. Because I, I imagine that'll be our next thing we find along the way. Oh, there's the, uh... There's probably where the dragon is. It's up, up on top of there, and that's also where the, we're going to find the next shards. Where's this rift, though? Somewhere off in the middle of nowhere? Oh, it's, it's way off the path, isn't it? Oh, well, that looks neat. Let's approach that. There's a whole little lake area. that has something going on in it. Is that just a corpse? Just some sort of large mammal corpse, or lizard, I guess, maybe, I guess, perhaps. Alright, let's just ruin some demons' lives. Hey, everybody, how's it go? Oh, those are a lot of shades. <laughs> I guess this would just be, uh, Vasti basking in the shade. I'm so sorry. It's basically happening, though. I wouldn't call, I mean, I wouldn't call it a struggle. <laughs> it's mostly just a relaxing moment. Where, oh, look, I'm just covered in shade, no big deal. Start doing some spin attacks in here and there. This would be a great time for me to have a, a whirlwind ability. I'll just have to settle for having badass AOE and uh, Solus pulling everyone closer in like that. Very handy. What's going to be harder is if they uh, if the next wave is packed with stuff that's actually threatening instead of just a bunch of shades. Because man, these are just the most worthless enemy. Look at that. They're level 22. They're like that's the, the these these shades are the highest level enemies I've ever fought, and they were a joke. Because that's how shades do. So, go ahead and dispel over here. And Solus can dispel... Where's one? Right here. Oh, if I, if I aim that right, I can get both. There we go. Three down. So what's left? There's going to be two things. Oh, three things. There's one back there. So we have a shade. A shade and a... Sh oh, fucking nothing. That, was, that wasn't even worth dispelling. I'm expecting the second wave to be like in some way threatening, but it's just like, oh look, it's the same guys you fought before. I think I fought more in the first wave too. Like fighting three wouldn't even be that big of a deal. Oh well. <laughs> our our uh, our going out with a whimper. The, I'm a little concerned. Like I think I want to say in the in the open world, I think the fader rifts I fight over here in Dragonland are going to be like the last ones in the entire game, aside from any that might show up during final story missions. So having one that just fades is kind of a bummer. I wonder if it's a fake out. I wonder if the next one's going to be like, here's six revenants, have fun. 
They're all flying around and are basically invincible and being absurd. Wow, 5,000 5, hit points. I mean, experience. I don't know. I had like a seizure there and I could, in the middle of a stroke, I couldn't think of what word to say. Uh, 5,000 experience is a lot. There, I have like 6,000 total, so that's one twelfth of my experience bar. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it kind of is. So there's a rift nearby still. And a dragon somewhere. Oh, we just leveled up our Inquisition, just like that. I'm surprised that happened again already. Alright. So we're gonna head up here. Try to get back on the path if we can. Looks like we're gonna find- we're having some nasties nearby. I, I hear a dragon. He's gotta be on top of that thing. We're gonna have to find- we're gonna have to go up the stairs and figure out what's going on there. Uh, potions? Still maxed out. I'll tell Vivi Vivian to... Do the uh, heal over time, just to keep herself keep her from using a potion before we get to the fight. I don't think I'm at risk of running out of uh, rejuvenation potions, because I, I don't use them that frequently, but I'd rather not them uh, use a normal potion before the actual fight happens, where they're likely to be useful. I just <laughs> I just did the uh, the area blocking ability for no reason. Sometimes when I'm playing as Vasca, I just start hitting every button. They're just, they're shiny. Sometimes they're all on cooldown except for one, and that one just looks really shiny by comparison, so you're just gonna start hammering on it. It's not about logic, it's about fun, right? Video games. These guys are really hanging in there, aren't they? Not long enough, though, apparently. Are they really- they're- yeah, they're not going down. Alright. They go down eventually. They're, they're certainly not doing damage, so I'm not really concerned. They're just taking their sweet time. There we go. Taken care of. Was that me securing a tower? Oh, there's the tower. Okay, was this- is the second one or third one? Was that the third one I just did? Or is it saying to do the third one now? I assume that's- I assume that was the second one. I got off the path, so it's a little harder to tell exactly where I am in the progression. Was that a dragon shadow? Yep, there it is. So there's the third dragon tower, and there's the second dragon tower. Probably neither of them are gonna be very happy to see me. A Leontine Steward. The statues decorating the pools of the sun depict Havard, Aegis of the Faith and Disciple of Andraste, bearing the Prophet's ashes to safety. However, when Grand Duchess Leontine commissioned the statues for placement around the hot springs, she recommended her steward Bellamy to the sculptor for use of, as a model. Rumor has it that Steward Bellamy was Leontide's lover, and she wished to see her heroic form whenever she turned. Leontine commissioned at least a hundred of the statues from the Highlands of Orlais by Lord Adamar Gardhout, Royal, so Royal Historian. That's just... Ugh. I don't know if, I don't know if, what, what kind of relationship leads to someone making a hundred statues of somebody. Artifact. Another artifact, really? Those things are everywhere. Is there like an I don't think I don't think there's an achievement or any particular reason to get all of them. At some point I've done enough that I unlocked access to the, uh, the story mission for Solus, so at this point, I, I don't know if I really care about them that much. I'll activate it if I find it, but I don't- the searching involved is kind of annoying sometimes. Like, oh, there's an artifact around here. Have fun. Your ping's not telling you where it is. Cal Tenza. That's a- that sure is a dragon name. Now let's go hit it in the butt. Walking Fortress. Let's get this- get this set up. Come on, come get me, buddy. It's fine. You can do it. Stay. Oh wow. Whoa. Is he immune, is he immune to damage? Is he, not, is he not taking damage right now? F immune to fire. Uh. Oh, I mean, sorry. Vulnerable to fire. Immune to slowing and disabling effects. Oh, immune. To, if he's immune to being slowed, does that mean that Sarah's uh, a lightning flask doesn't work? Because it it technically does what it does by slowing people. Other than that, uh, he's just resistant to cold. Not a big deal. I'm kind of curious how it works with Sarah. We'll find out in a moment, I guess. Waiting for his wing ability to, wait, to wear off for now. Back off. Alright. So while this fight's getting started, I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna get ready to start things off with Sarah's ability. There we go. Oh my god. Look at all that damage. Bam! He just took an, un <laughs> an immeasurable amount of damage from that. From Sarah's uh, tier three version of a of, uh, thousand cuts, which I don't think I've used yet. I will switch to oh, Solus doesn't have it. Oh, Vivian doesn't have it either. And I can't cast it on anybody. Oh, but he missed completely, so it doesn't matter. Turns out the dragon's stupid. Surprise. Ah, uh, 
Oh, I switched to Vivian because I wanted to bear I wanted to bubble the party when he shoots at us, but then he just went ahead and missed. That was silly. Alright, here we go. Everyone's bubbled. So incoming strike isn't very effective. There we go. Now I'll just get ready to uh wait, was he was vulnerable to fire, right? Yes. So let's make a big old mess. Oh wait, this isn't gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna do it the AoE instead. Uh Firestorm, there we go. That has to be fi that has to do fire damage, right? It's a freaking firestorm. Ooh, did you see how jittery Sarah was for a second there? Let's look at that again from Solus's perspective. Look how fast she goes! Holy shit! So that that's our first uh, close-up view of what Sarah looks like when you're when she uses lightning flask when we when we're not in control of her. She really goes in full fast forward mode. I was wondering what that looks like because I, I never really got any evidence that she was ever using it, except from the fact that it was always on cooldown, which means she was using it. But I couldn't actually see what the effect was. Because it, it, it supposedly does it by making everyone else move slower. But that clearly was her moving faster. So I don't know what to make of that. I guess the slow part's just to... The slow part's just so that you can control it. Because as the player, you can't really tell what you're doing. If it was too fast, you wouldn't be able to take advantage of the speed boost. I don't know why I switched to Solus. Oh shit, she's in, she's in this mode again. She's just always in this mode, isn't she? She's probably using ride the flat, the ride, uh, ride the wave or whatever, where she uses uh, flasks in conjunction over and over again, back to back. So we've used Sarah's special, we've used Solus's special. He's down about a third of his hit points. We've used two potions so far. Not a terrible position. You know what? If he's vulnerable to fire, that sounds like a time for Antiven Flame. It's upgraded. It should make a big mess, right? Is it working? Yeah, he's burning all right. He's taking some kind of damage. Not as much as he takes from Sarah being awesome, though. Let's see. Is he flying away? No. Oh, I need to switch to Vasti. Va oh! Just in time to get knocked down. Because he needs to be able to... Oop! I accidentally taunted instead. He needs to be able to shield bash that, sh that armor off. There we go. Back to Sarah. In ridiculous damage everything mode. AI Sarah doesn't really apply poison, does she? It seems handy to use, just because it's a, it's a it's a damage boost, right? All right, so fast flask of flame, spam abilities, spam that long shot over and over again if we can. It should do a decent amount of damage. Oh, it wore off. I'm pretty sure I use flask of flame incorrectly every single time. Oh well. So this guy's level 21, making him the highest level dragon we've fought so far, which makes sense because we're on our our final stretch basically. Uh. Even higher than the last one, but the fact that he's not summoning any help so far means he hasn't been as threatening so far. Because really, that was the dangerous part. Not the fact that, uh... Not the, not the dragon itself, but the fact that he could summon help that was particularly dangerous. Oh, ne neither person has bubble up right now. And Vasti's just gonna stand there like a jackass while it comes in. Only 83 damage. That's not a very strong ice effect, actually. Although it does look like it might have a persistent slowdown. All right, we got hit, but we were guarded, so we're fine. Is he gonna land? Oh, cool, my cooldown's back up. I must have had that effect that makes it. I must have had the effect that makes it not get a cooldown. We'll go ahead and back off with Sarah. Get her out of here. Uh, flask of fire. Followed by any attack I can get off on him. Oh, we're stunned. Makes it a little harder to do anything special. And here come the pesky t tiny dragons. All right, so this is where things could potentially get a lot worse is all the ads coming in. So I'm gonna do what I can to uh, back off in a direction where they can't follow me with Sarah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, this is awkward. This is, uh, I'm gonna lose line of sight if I'm, if I'm not careful here. <laughs> this is a bad place to play as Sarah. Okay. I should, tr actually, I should get up on that ridge is what I should do. Go into stealth mode briefly. Just to disengage a bit. It might have been pointless, but whatever. I don't, I don't know if, if going into stealth mode even requires stamina, necessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and tell Vasti to shield bash. To get rid of that armor. Cause that's like his job. Oh, trying to freeze me. Rude. Alright, shield bash more or less worked. I'm trying to take advantage of a high point, because I think Sarah is spec to take, it, take advantage of that. I guess I could check. Archery. Death from above, yeah. Up to, uh, uh max, two, two, when she's two meters high, she gets 25% bonus damage. Which I believe could be happening right now. So it's worthwhile to get up here before, oh yeah, there we go, 5,000 on one hit. That's a decent number. 
Solus is taking damage. I'm gonna want to tell him to do a heal over time real quick. And we'll tell Vivian to... Uh, we'll let her bury her real quick. Before we move on. There we go. She's barriered by now. So let's have her do an uneven fire. Just to throw some fire on the... On the, uh... Our cold dragon. That's certainly vulnerable to it. Stock on everything we can. I gotta remember to do my, uh, poison. Let's see. I'm just gonna pop Vasti's, uh, special ability for fun. I don't really have a lot of reason to, because things are going fine, but let's just do it. Oh. He backed off. He's out. He's, he went right out of damage, damage range. So, uh, I wonder if he... I wonder if he specifically is programmed to run away from Antivan Flame or any fire AoE because he's vulnerable to it, or if he'll just kind of uh, run away at random, and that's just in lieu of being actually smart. It, it, both things are possible. He did He did jump directly on Sarah. Wow. it's a lot of failed attempts to connect with a uh, an armor-destroying ability. Come on. Let's, try, let's sh ship up here. I'm focusing on the... Uh, whoa. What just happened? Oh, I, did I accidentally activate a uh, Solus ability? Whoops. I don't know how I did that. I'm trying to focus on the boss specifically here instead of dealing with any of the adds just because I want the, uh... I want to end faster this time. Last time, I got too focused on the adds that I think we'll just keep getting summoned anyway. And that really killed our time. And I think we killed our potion stocks too. We're doing fine now. Only lost 4 out of 12, which is way better than last time where we actually dropped a 0. The only way that can even happen is if Vasti of all people is taking a, uh, a beating, which doesn't normally happen as the tank that seems to be undefeatable. Oh, right when I pop poison. I pop poison and they disappear. Alright, this is when we take out dragonlings because there's no more... There's nothing else to fight at this point. Where are the dragonlings? Oh, I think they messed up. I think this, I think this encounter glitched a bit. Yeah. They, they spawn a certain distance away, I think. And then they, uh, because of the awkward geometry of the area, I think they spawned downstairs and can't get up to the fight. So they're just they're down there running into a wall. Some great boss design there, right? Incoming ice is not going to connect. All right. Is he going to land at some point? There we go. <laughs> Starting to wonder if we're going to be allowed to continue the fight or not. Oh, there's, the, there's some surprise dragonlings showing up. So that's not a stunning shout, it's just a, no a bit of noise. I'm gonna enter stealth, get Sarah, try to get Sarah away from the dragonlings. Didn't work, they're still after her. All right. I'm doing fire flask to follow up, there we go. Oh, and there's the stun. Right when I use fire flask, just to minimize the effect of my own ability. I wonder if the dragon is smart enough to be a dick about this or if it's just random. We're getting pulled in. Oh, Sarah's about to go down. Uh, stop using your bow, heal. Throw some throw a jar of bees in there for no reason, cause cause fucking bees, man. That'll make a mess of something. There's just a there's just a horde of bees attacking some uh, dragonlings right now. I try to damage. Yeah, let's let's take out some of these dragonlings. This is actually becoming dangerous now. I'm gonna hope that Vivian's smart enough to revive Solus, cause that's like her job. Come on, Vivian. You're the you're the one person that has this ability aside from. Obviously Vasty, but I'm not gonna I'm not trying to use the uh, consumable right now Vivian, what are you doing? She has the ability too. she's just not casting it. All right, I'll do it Casted and he's healed so we're good Back to focusing on the boss going to slow-mo mode to minimize the time where he can re read to any of his reactions But it's really down to the last bit too. We could take him out right here Fire Flask. Long shot. There we go, that's a lot of damage. I'm just kind of stacking up everything I can. There we go. He's really close to going down, there's not much else to do. Activating poison just to keep stacking up more damage. And we're immediately stunned. Watch him stun, stun us and then fly away, just to continually negate the effects of me being able to poison. Well, that's awkward. I go into slow-mo mode and immediately lose poison access. We're so close to taking him out too. Come on. Yeah, you can see it. Take, you can see it put a dent in his hit, hit bar every time. 
to go ahead and try, we, we, need to get, we need to back off. My, the ranger is not supposed to be in this range. Back off. Uh, switch to Zavasti for the uh, shield bash. Vivian for... Oh, whoa, she's far away. Okay. I'm going to try to get a few hits in and then follow it up with a barrier to help out some of, some of the people in the area. There we go. Because people... We're definitely taking hits. I'm going to do a self-heal because it'll do an AoE heal that helps me and Vasti. So if I stick around the tank, he'll keep getting healed and both these characters should be pretty safe. Even if any, even if anyone else goes down right now. Uh, fire spell because he's vulnerable to fire. He's so close to going down. Come on. I'm just I'm just holding down square at this point, just trying to finish off the boss at all uh, at all other costs. And there he goes, 7,700 experience. That's, that's a lot. Still though, the uh, that that dumb portal, that last tear in the rift, almost gave us as much experience. So apostate, if the circle is such a failure, what would be your solution? Would you have your fellow mages live among the people, unguarded, unwatched? Yeah. And when they became possessed or used their power to harm, I would kill them. Magic is more elegant than a blade or a bow, but a murderer remains a murderer. So you alone would pass judgment, repay murder with murder, or do we open this up to mobs and vigilantes? If you're going to dispense justice upon violent mages yourself, you'll need eternal life and omniscience. If only there were individuals dedicated to finding and eliminating such criminals, perhaps they might help. I am certain they would until black and white distinctions perverted their simple minds. Wow, very intense political discussion between Solus and Vivian there, where Solus takes the stance of, uh, uh, he basically takes the stance of, uh, magic doesn't kill people, uh, people kill people. I wonder if there's, there must be a script where, like, every time you kill a dragon, it's like, it's just going to automatically trigger, uh, just automatically trigger companion dialogue because every time I do one, we're suddenly having companion dialogue, and I'm I'm not going to complain because it doesn't happen en enough sometimes, and I'm frankly I'm I'm amazed by how much there is. I don't think there was this much dialogue in the first Dragon Age game. I don't think your characters could talk this much, so it's crazy that there's more of them than ever, and they still have this much dialogue. Uh, three bonus potions, good if you want to have a lot of potions, but I never I never really run out of any of the ones that actually are affected by that. If it affected our actual potion. That'd be good. Uh, wow. Masterwork Prowler Armor. Uh, Dexterity, Magic Defense, Range Defense. Sunder when hit. Willpower. Abilities cost 20% less. This could be really good for uh, Sarah, or really any rogue. That's that's some high quality stuff. Where I don't think my previous stuff necessarily was. And we have a 22 TPS rogue. Oh, 16% heal on kill. Not terrible. Although I'd rather have heal on hit. Because every hit, you, you probably hit people more times than, than that per kill. Oftentimes, and it'd help you with boss fights more because heal on kill is useless when you're fighting a big long boss Which is when you're most likely to need health uh, Attack strength uh, and more damage for nearby enemies not a bad setup might give the, almost certainly an upgrade for one of my uh, my warrior uh, tank types out there So I'm gonna go ahead and take out I'm gonna check out this uh, this thing to, to see, Well, we're gonna grab this these dragon scales of course if I can get the game to register that they exist, there we go. Uh, we're gonna want to find those last uh, those last shards if we can, because if we can go inside that temple finally, that'd be great. Like this should this should show me the last of the shards I need to find. Yep, seven. Whoa, way over there. Okay, so keep an eye out for the opposite bank first of all. Two down. There's one between me and the other tower. Alright, so this should be the last of the shards I need to find. I'll, I'll go grab them on foot, probably between episodes, or just show you any dialogue that might happen along the way. Then we'll probably go inside the temp- There's a good chance I'll, that I'll grab them right away, and we'll go inside the temple in the next episode, because I really want to do that next. And then we'll come back here, do the uh, handful of missions left to do- Oh, we can, we can keep turning really far over here. Nothing over here, though? Alright. But yeah, I want to do the, uh... I want to do the last- dragon the temple maybe in the fr maybe in the same episode and uh any leftover story stuff in the area oh no this is the worst case scenario it's the lat it's oh i found it it must have been over there somewhere <laughs> couldn't even fucking see it okay fine so i think that's a good place to wrap it up actually so thanks for watching guys like always i'll see you next time i think what we're gonna do there's a good chance that uh yeah, that's a good way of handling it. Next episode, we'll fight the uh, 
We'll fight the last dragon. We'll grab all the shards in the area. That will probably be semi off camera. We'll close that last rift. Wow, next episode's gonna be a thing of last, isn't it? One last rift, one last dragon, one last piece of this quest. Grabbing the last of the shards, and then uh, going into the temple that you get by getting all the shards might be the last thing I do before we uh, start the next story mission and wrap up the entire game. That's soon. That, uh, that strikes me as a reasonable time to do that is, uh, right before we, uh, wrap things up. I think everyone leveled up, though, didn't they? How's Vasti doing? Just barely past 23. But Vivian also has an ability point to... Oh, he does. Okay. It's hard to figure out what to spend stuff on now. The entire spirit tree is done. Oh, yeah, Night Enchanter. We have a passive. Whenever you have a barrier active, enemies who attack you take damage in return. Absolutely. She always has a barrier active. That's just a no-brainer. Go to back to Vasti. We're gonna go upgrade Payback Strike, because I use that all the time, so just making it do more damage is logical. Next level, we'll probably get Warrior's Resolve to get a just random increases in a stamina. What's interesting there is uh, that should be more effective now. It was 10% stamina restored, but that's I have 50% more stamina, so it's now it's 15 stamina instead of 10. Still not a huge buff, though, but as a passive... It's hard to argue, because it's just something that happens on its own. Going to arrow skills. I could go I could go buy explosive shot, but that's kind of a bummer, because I don't have any more slots for it, unless I want to remove something, and I kind of don't necessarily want to. Uh, but that would give me pincushion, which is that every time you attack somebody, the next the next arrow does more damage. That might be something that wor that's worth pursuing. What's this passive down here? Poison and fat lasts longer. That's not really compelling. Uh... The worst mistake the worst mistake your enemies can make is to let you see them flinch whenever you score a critical hit. Ooh. Stamina regeneration whenever you crit. That's not a bad idea, but it's also another thing that I have to get multiple points into. Can I upgrade stealth? Entering stealth is re instant removes debilitating. Yeah, I'll go for that. Debilitating effects being removed is a good uh, buff. The stealth itself doesn't seem very effective, but uh, it being instant could help cuz I keep getting caught in the process of going into it. Solus is actually Despite being my spirit mage from the beginning of the game, has less skills invested into spirit at this point. So let's go ahead and grab something. Maybe, a, should I go for the dispel? Yeah. We'll go for the dispel upgrade because it gives him more barrier. Just seems like a way to go. Okay. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time, where we'll take out probably the last of the ten dragons in this area. And, uh, last rift. Last shards. That's crazy. We're, ra we're definitely getting wrapped up. And, and it's good that it is, too, because I want to have this game done before Bloodborne comes out, because if I had to do both these big RPGs in parallel, I might lose my mind. Here's a codex entry that I could have found in Red Cliff Castle, but missed, so I got it from the store in Orlais. The Tranquil. The Tranquil are the least understood, but most visible members of the Circle. Every city of respectable size boasts a Circle of Magi's shop, and every one of these shops is run by Tranquil Proprietor. The name is a misnomer, for they are not tranquil at all, rather they are like inanimate objects that speak. If a table wished to sell you an enchanted per, uh, pen, ni pen knife, it could pass as one of these people. Their eyes are expressionless, their voice is monotone, incomparable craftsmen they might be, but they are hardly the sort of mages to put ordinary folks at ease. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genitivi. Hey, this is neat. Uh, 19 out of 19 uh, magic entries. So I, I have all of them. There's some completionism there.